day already here in Atlanta as you guys can see I've just poured up a nice cold glass of lemon water why don't y'all come in let me pour y'all a glass you guys do not have to stand out there in that mugginess it is so muggy this morning it was raining a little earlier I was outside had my morning coffee now I'm having my morning glass of lemon and lime water so refreshing especially on a sticky day like today so I really appreciate you guys stopping in today guys it is Monday if I have not said so already hope you guys had an amazing weekend at the time that you got that you guys were seeing this video we will have been back from Mexico maybe three days so I want to send a huge shout out to everyone who checked out that particular video but in today's video guys we are going to be doing a little bit of a refreshing of my basement guest bathroom yes we are encroaching on all of the summer holidays and so we will be having visitors over to the house i actually had my girlfriend over on yesterday we sat outside on the deck and had a really nice time but today i'm going to focus on the guest bathroom and i want to send a huge thank you out to cricket guys for partnering with me on today's video i will actually be using my cricket maker to do just about every DIY project that you are going to see here in today's video they are going to be amazing I already know it they are going to be an amazing addition to our downstairs basement to guest bathroom do you guys remember the before of our basement let me insert a clip here head downstairs right now and for all of the new family members over to the channel I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like now my chase is down here getting his life working out guys so if you hear any noise any running it is him in the gym he's actually over there watching TV so hopefully we don't disturb him and vice versa so back behind these double doors guys that is our full basement gym and right now we are actually standing in our basement family room this is sort of a replica of what is actually going on 
upstairs and we are thrilled with it up ah, this this eyesore right here this right here is the futon that i had in my crafts room guys that will not be staying here i pulled that out of my crafts room because that is actually going to go with chase he's going to take that to school uh, most of you know that chase is preparing to go to college and we're going to give this to him. You guys just looked at the before of the basement. As you can see, it is a huge, a huge difference. Now, those of you who have been family members here on the channel for a while, this is not new to you. So uh, bear with us <laughs> as we kind of show the new family members around the house. And so back over this way, we have the guest bedroom, the guest bathroom, and my crafts room is also located down here. Absolutely love this little sweet guest bathroom. I would absolutely love to stay in here <laughs> or, you know, stay here and have this as a guest bathroom. So it's really sweet almost boutique size absolutely love it as i said but i want to today spruce it up a little bit make it even more welcoming for our guests again it's summer and uh, we do plan to have some visitors as yeah it's been a pretty long year so uh what i'm thinking i want to do to start everything off is remove these doors from the cabinets in here i like the cabinets but I, I, I've never had an opportunity to put anything on the inside because the doors are all, have, you know, they've always been closed. And I feel that if I remove the doors or if Eric removes the doors, I think I'll be able to add a little bit of decor. You guys know when you add decor to something, it just really changes the overall look of the space. And of course, I'll add a few more decor pieces in here there isn't a whole lot you can do to a bathroom as you want your bathroom to not be cluttered as it does have a function so i think i'm going to grab eric get his opinion on whether the doors should be on or off and uh we'll go from there and so right through this particular door i will turn the light on we have the guest bedroom so we are really looking forward to entertaining this summer. Uh, this is the perfect, I think, little guest bedroom. It's, I think, inviting enough for you to come, stay here at the house and feel comfortable, but I don't think it's giving you too much so that you wouldn't want to, you know, go back, you know, go back home. You know, you don't want to wear your welcome out. So this is the guest bedroom. Like I said, a really, really good size bedroom. Nice, cozy, and homey. And you know what, guys? Before we get started with today's projects, let's head outside to my back deck. I want to share with you some of the projects that I've already made using my Cricut. I've been busy. So I wish the conditions were a little bit better for me to really show you how amazing the space looks out here, guys. But it's so humid, so sticky. Like I said, we just had a torrential downpour. But my girlfriend and I, as I mentioned earlier, were out here on yesterday living our best lives. And she could not believe, guys, that I made these three door hangers. Yeah, they're actually door hangers but I'm using them as wall hangers for my gazebo. This is my happy space. These three terms, tranquil, calm, and peace over there, that is absolutely the mood that this little space gives off. So I created these guys using my Cricut Maker. All right, so I'm gonna do one for my guest bathroom and I'm gonna bring you guys along to kind of show you how I made these, but they were so super simple, very, very lightweight. Only need to purchase actually a few separate materials. These are probably things that guys, you're actually gonna have around the house. The ribbon that is actually hanging on here. Not sure if you can see that. There it is, that says Gucci. <laughs> this is actually some ribbon that came with a bag or shoes or something that I'd uh, purchased or ordered and it was just laying around the house and I felt that they that that ribbon would be a great addition uh, to complement or finish off my door hangers so like I said I'm gonna do one for the 
guest bathroom downstairs and I'm gonna show you guys how I made those and so speaking of rain as you can see it has cleared up right now it's still muggy though but um, the rain has subsided but I want to show you guys something that I made just for the rain do you guys see that this is an umbrella guys now full disclosure I did not make the umbrella but using my Cricut Maker guys I was able to create this little Disney umbrella myself it says Tiana on here that's not my name <laughs> Princess Tiana is who I'm speaking of just gorgeous you guys see guys see that glittery um, vinyl there this is just amazing and I actually placed it here on both sides or both corners of the umbrella so who doesn't need an umbrella in the rain all right we all need an umbrella why not jazz up your umbrella so i am just so thankful to cricut you are able guys to do so many things with this cricut maker so this umbrella will be used for not the rain here in georgia no this umbrella guys is going to go with us on our upcoming trip to disney this is going to be the summer of nothing but trips for us uh, these are the last trips that we'll be taking with chase before he goes off to college he has requested another family trip to disney he says he wants to be kind of nostalgic kind of take a look at the things that we did when he was younger <laughs> so we are happy to oblige you know eric and i live for disney so i'm just happy guys that i was able to actually find this design um in the design space area of cricket so so very simple to make and i just love it i know everyone in the theme parks are going to want to know how and where they can get their hands on one of these Tiana umbrellas and guys you don't have to use Tiana you could actually put your name on the umbrella but I just chose to put Tiana on the umbrella because we're going to Disney we're in the dog days of summer as it relates to Florida travel and it gets really hot in the theme parks so this umbrella will serve as shade for me but both of these projects guys were so super simple to make they really do add a powerful punch and the creativity you know you're only limited by your imagination so loving loving the start of these two projects right here all right so let's go ahead and get started with today's projects all right so back inside guys as you can see i have my setup here i have my laptop the obligatory glass of lemon lime water i have my gorgeous gorgeous cricket maker thank you so so much to cricket for sending this cricket maker over to me as you guys can already see you can make so many wonderful just really creative items designs with this machine right here the umbrella okay i've asked eric and chase if they wanted me to design them one they said no i said i'd switch up the design on it they still don't want one i'm gonna do one anyway because i know once we get to florida that he hits them they're gonna want to ask to borrow my umbrella and the answer is gonna be no but if you're not familiar with the Cricut Maker, guys, I'm gonna grab a seat here really quickly, go over some of the wonderful, wonderful things, like I said, that you can design and create, just the, all the benefits of this gorgeous machine. It's already hot here in Atlanta, guys, so I know I'll be enjoying many glasses of my favorite way to have water, yes, with lemon and lime, in my new favorite glass. And guys, I created this using my Cricut Maker. Oh my gosh, the Cricut Maker is so easy to set up, and it allows us DIYers and crafters a way to get up and running and get going on those projects that we love so much. With Cricut Design Space on desktop and mobile, we can make our designs and crafts from anywhere this beautiful machine that is the Cricut maker guys is the ultimate smart cutting machine it accurately cuts over 300 materials including everything from delicate little materials like crepe paper to fabric to thicker materials like matte board leather basswood we're actually going to use basswood today guys holographic sparkle vinyl glitter iron on vinyl I shared that with you guys outside card stock for those intricate cuts construction paper copy paper colored duct tape perfect perfect for us scrapbooking those of us who love to scrapbook you know we love to use duct tape well your Cricut machine can cut duct tape as well 
and I know it's summer, but winter will be back soon enough. And we love as crafters working with fabrics like felt, flannel, and fleece. And these are just great for fall and winter blankets. So guys, the Cricut can do it all. And if that wasn't enough, guys, Cricut Maker's expandable suite of tools allows us crafters and DIYers endless possibilities with the ability to cut, draw, score. The list goes on and on. And as you can see here, guys, I'm using my new easy press my Cricut easy press guys to make these towels with the mighty duo guys of my Cricut maker and my Cricut easy press I was able to personalize these towels for my downstairs guest bathroom and so with the Cricut maker and its expanding suite of tools guys you get a tremendous return on investment when you think about all the amazing crafts that you can not only create and make for yourselves and friends but you can also guys sell these at the upcoming fairs that many of us have in our cities during the summer months. So I want to really quickly share with you a few of the items that will be going into the guest bed bedroom, not bedroom, <laughs> guest bathroom. Um, a lot of the stuff is already downstairs. Eric took it down there already and I didn't feel like dragging it back up, but you'll see it here shortly. Um, I made these toilet fizzies. I have a video here on the channel. I'll link it if I can remember. But these are great to just kind of drop into the toilet. Gives it a nice, I love the look of it, <laughs> the fizziness. And it gives it a nice aroma. But what I thought I'd do is label these jars. These little cute little mason jars are, I think, just perfect for both bathroom and kitchen, actually. And you guys know these mason jars have so many neat little functions. But I thought it would be a cute little idea to use my Cricut Maker to put on there toilet fizzies that way my guests will know exactly what they are i have these other little cute little jars i have some more mason jars downstairs i'll be labeling these up using my cricut maker i also have quite a few of these little slippers that i have for my guests when they come to our home you guys know that we do not wear shoes in the house but these slippers are so inexpensive and i felt it would be great a great idea to put a few down in the guest bedroom and just put like be our guest on them <laughs> so I, I ordered some more of those this is the little door hanger that we're gonna well we're gonna make this into a door hanger actually but you can get those little thin pieces of wood anywhere and as i mentioned your Cricut maker can actually cut those. Let's just pause for a second, guys, and pay homage to this beautiful, yes, I said it, beautiful flower arrangement here on the dining room table. She is thrusting and thriving. Well, actually, it's three of them, all right? I have some eucalyptus here, and this is actually fresh eucalyptus. This is not dried, um, just very, very fragrant. I have a succulent here. This is also real and another eucalyptus plant there on the side. And I just love, 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 love how this looks here on the dining room table. And so speaking of plants, over here in this corner, guys, you know what this is. You know what that is. She does not have a name. I'm not giving her a name. She has to earn her name by staying alive. She doesn't even have a cute pot yet <laughs> she's just sitting here in this long or you know tall pot here but she obviously needs you know something else to make her look more fancy but she's gonna have to work for it okay she is going to have to earn her keep so no name for her just yet we're going to see just how long she's able to stay alive but as you can see the snake plants always come through always come through all right so over here got sidetracked i also purchased some fresh towels and as you can see on this one right here guys i used my cricut maker to place this little label on not label but um well a little quote a little saying on as you saw earlier i used my cricut this really pretty gooder vinyl look at that guys and you don't have to put b our guest or be my guest you could put your family's initials your family's names um, you can even get really fancy and put the name of your guest. You know, how cute would that be? So I just need to do this other towel here, place that on. And then as I stated at the beginning of the video, we are just back from Mexico. And you know, when you stay at your resort, they give you all these neat little toiletries. 
as you can see ours the seal isn't even broken they have not been used and it is because we travel with our own toiletries we travel like we're never coming back <laughs> so we have all of these items to bring back home so i thought it would be a great idea to kind of add these down there in a small little basket you know you have your shower cap you have toothpaste a sewing kit all these neat little things that your guests could benefit from so some kind of way i'm going to make a cute little arrangement downstairs in the guest either bedroom or bathroom but guys, I really want to share with you how to make these door hangers. As you guys saw earlier, I have three hanging outside in my gazebo. I'm gonna make one here shortly for our guest bathroom. Guys, but these are also perfect for your front door. They're perfect for the inside of your front door, the outside of your front door. They make cute little wreaths. You can decorate them and add all types of little accoutrements, um, whatever floats your boat. So the way I am going to do my one for the guest bathroom, I've already kind of started it out here for you. Um, so I have this one right here. It hasn't been stained, painted, or anything. I have the one here that I will actually be placing in our basement guest bathroom. I love the colors, very muted, very subtle, very serene, very spa hotel-like. Um, and as you can see, this color up here really looks very similar to the natural wood color, but you can kind of see as I place them side by side, the slight difference in color. So that is like a very light colored stain. And then this is like a gray stain down here. And I think it's just going to look amazing. So already guys, very, very simple, simple to do. These are the slippers that I spoke about a little bit earlier that I wanted to create to put down in the basement guest bathroom. They are so cute, so cute. So I have this entire Be Our Guest theme going on. So I think I want to continue with that theme and choose a really nice font. Guys, there are so many fonts in Cricut Design Space that you can choose. I wanna use a script font for the door hanger for the bathroom. But as you can see, just a basic kind of uh, not I won't say a Times New Roman text here or font, but something really simple, something really bold. And I want something just a little bit more fancy for the door hanger, but whatever floats your boat, whatever design, whatever script, whatever you can imagine, you will be privy to just a host of different fonts in Cricut Design Space. So I'm gonna tip back over to my Cricut Maker print out my font and then we're gonna place that right on here and um, add a little ribbon. And I think guys, we will be just about ready to assemble everything downstairs in the basement. So I wanted to share with you here guys, as you can see, I've just typed in be our guest. And right now that particular font is Cricut Sands, but I have just pulled up just countless now different fonts that I can actually choose from. But I decided, you know what? I think what I'm actually going to do is replace that with a font or a design that is already here in Cricut Design Space. So I'm just gonna go in here and type in, let's see if you guys can see that, be our guest. Did I spell that correctly? Yes. All right, and then look at there, guys. Look at everything. Look at all this that has popped up. So, depending on what you are going for, there are so many just countless, countless options that you can choose for, no matter the project. So I just absolutely love that about Cricut Design Space. So the one that I think I'll go with today is this one right here. So I've clicked on that, that I'm gonna go down here and insert my image. It's gonna come into my little work area here and I can just increase the size if I want. I can come here, I can unlock it. That way I can now stretch and move it in several directions, right? Now I think I like this way better. I think I like that. I'm gonna decrease the size a little just to get it perfect. I'm gonna keep 
keep working with it. So here we are guys, all done with our door hanger and it is so sweet. That's the only way to describe it, just sweet. So I've added our text here, just perfect. And I went ahead and added a little faux flower, some faux greenery. I can't get over how stinking cute this is. I've even added guys a bow and some ribbon and this was so simple to do just a hot glue gun guys that's all i did to apply the flower the greenery and the ribbon hot glue tied this bow right here <laughs> very simple to do um, i know you ladies know how to do that and on the back hot glued this piece here and that is actually how we're going to hang our door hanger on the door. So I think guys, that is everything. I think those are, are all the projects. They're all completed. So what I want to do now is head back downstairs to the basement. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. We're gonna put everything together and uh, you guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think. So I found Eric and he has graciously agreed to come in and remove the doors for me. Babe, are you partial to doors being on or doors being off? Right now I think on, but I will trust your design. Judgment. Expertise, <laughs> as it were. And see how they look. All right, so babe, the basement is 100% complete. Yeah. All right, how do you feel about the basement being done as you Take. Oh, do you want to show them your tool? What tool are you using to remove those doors? Just a little bitty tiny screwdriver because it has to fit. Okay. All right. So, yeah. What is your favorite part about the basement being complete? I'm pretty sure you're happy with it, right? Yeah, I would say, yes, I'm very happy with it. Uh -huh. I would say the exercise room and the guest room for when we have out of town. What's an exercise room? The gym. Okay. I've never heard it called an exercise room. Of course. <laughs> the gym. <laughs> yeah, the exercise room is the more upscale way to describe it. Since when? It's that's etiquette. You should know. Really? That. When you go out and yeah. you go to the public gyms, gym they're sounds, called gyms. When I think of gym, I think of like smelly, you know. Oh. Okay. Or just more of an exercise. You know what? I prefer maybe spa. Ah. You like spa gym? Yeah, it's a, it's a total spa body experience. All right. So you're happy with your favorite part of the basement reno is the gym. Absolutely. Um. And let me come in closer to show them what you're actually removing. So Eric is trying to take these little hinges off right here, guys. And this is a tight, very tight. tight That's why I use this little screwdriver. Squeeze. I like the guest area too. You so know, just every room. So just every room. Every room. <laughs> I'm every, every room. room. All right. So, what's your favorite part about the gym being done? If that's yours. You know, as we have said in many, many times on this channel, mm -hmm. there, you know, there's nothing wrong with joining a gym and being part of a gym. We were actually gym yeah. members. Yeah. Yeah. The YMCA. We like lived at the Y. You took classes and taught classes mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. I played basketball and worked out there. Chase grew day. up at the Chase YMCA. Grew up. He took every class sport <laughs> the YMCA offered. Um, yeah. But it's just, and you know, the YMCA is only like 20 minutes oh, from Oh, you got one door off. That was pretty, that was yeah. pretty fast. That but was when, pretty fast. When you don't feel like working out, sometimes you just need something that's ridiculously convenient. Exactly. Like you can't escape it. And so we also worked out in our garage yeah, um, that was when we too. first moved in. Um, Before the basement was actually complete. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I mean, look, work out wherever you can. The garages, mm -hmm. the problem here in Atlanta is once you get into the summertime, it's It just, gets really, really hot. Much. Really, Even really with hot. fans, the right. humidity and stuff, you just die. Yeah, so if you have the option, I, I guess what uh, Eric is trying to say, if you have the option, 
go ahead make the investment it's, an investment. it's, worth it, it's absolutely an investment um, but it will be worth it not only for you your family to enjoy this basement but also let's say if you are going to at some point put your house back on the market if you're going to sell your house it is a great re um a great tool to have in your, I guess you could say your resale portfolio. No one wants to come in and have to have a basement completed. So it just really looks good when you're trying to resell your home to go ahead and have that basement complete. And then you are able to do little updates like I am doing here with the assistance of Eric. I wanted to come back and give a quick before of the guest bathroom down here in the basement clean slate or almost clean slate is what we're starting with okay this is the bathroom into the guest bedroom this is actually a better view <laughs> it was a lot darker that way it's funny how lighting works right but this is the bathroom exiting the guest bedroom so cabinet door is off thanks to eric and what will we do all right well we know what we're gonna do we've already made everything thanks to cricket so what i'm going to do now guys is get you all on the tripod go ahead and get everything back in i'll go ahead and put in the new additions courtesy of cricket and a few stores that i went to and uh, i'll come back with the final final look let's go ahead and kind of break down what we did in here so here are the towels using my fabulous Cricut maker I was able to just personalize just basic white towels using the iron-on glitter I think it just really adds just a little touch of glamour down here in the basement I'm not mad at that at all so you do one of course you're going to need two as i stated earlier guys you can personalize these towels any way you want you don't even have to do towels you can actually do hand towels and so speaking of hand towels if we come over here i added a few hand towels here and i do believe that i am going to going forward use some of these hand towels to personalize these for my guests create like a little gift basket for them to kind of take home with them i think that would be a neat idea uh not sure what i put on there maybe their name or thanks for coming something like that but rest assured i come up i'll, I'll come up with something and um i think it's just a really neat idea something to give your guests to go home with and uh there are the slippers right down there great addition to this area of the bathroom when they step out of the shower some scrubs and things back there and speaking of soaps and scrubs i have some mason jars up here that using my cricut i was able to label love 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 and if we come over here i have some more soaps and scrubs here in mason jars that i also labeled for my guests now we cannot we cannot forget about the door hanger come on how sweet oh my gosh you're in here you're drying off and you just look over here and you like you know what i love staying here at tan's house she makes us so welcome even in the bathroom she's like be our guest so we're definitely going to come back but i absolutely love this like i said earlier guys you can make these door hangers for your front door 
um, leaving outside you can place these outside you can do like I did if you have a little outdoor area these are just perfect projects going forward guys I have just been so inspired today to go ahead and use these towels these towels this little crate I shared it with you guys earlier this is the crate that is here for my guests when they come has their waters their soap and now <laughs> thanks to Cricut I have decided to go ahead and do a little gift basket as I was talking about earlier here in the bathroom I'm going to go ahead and kind of personalize these little slippers these little slippers here they're so inexpensive but they just really convey the sentiments of you know you really enjoy the company of your guests so i'm going to use my cricut easy press over here and do these additional towels these the uh, Cricut Easy Press is actually the device that I use to do the towels over in the bathroom. So I have it here. I'm getting ready to tip over into my crafts room, pr plug in my Cricut Easy Press, and get started on these towels. So, really looking forward to doing that if you can believe it. Um, I am a crafter at heart, you guys know. I'm a former educator and this right here this is this is my wheelhouse this is this is my judge so if you are like me please check the description box guys I'll have all of the information there that you need to get started crafting and creating you so that you can start creating just a wealth of DIY projects not only for your home but for friends and members in your community and guys don't forget, you may be able to earn a little bit of cash on the side. Once again, sending a huge thank you out to Cricut for sponsoring today's video, sending over all these goodies. Really appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.